everyone. Today's video is a request of a subscriber. She wanted me to show uh, how I did the uh, nail vinyls using the uh, pigments, kind of almost like a stamped effect uh, rather than a 3D effect that I had on the, my previous manicure. So in this case, I'll be using the Twinkled Tea uh, nail vinyls and then we'll be applying, once the vinyl is on the nail, we'll then apply the uh, pigments over uh, the vinyl and then once we take those off we can top coat it and there you have your uh, image. Uh, in this case I am using the um, chromeleon pigments from Social Claws. Uh, this is Phoenix right here and I'll be using uh, Ivy as well and also um, in this demo I'll be showing uh, the holographic pigment. This is her Glacier uh, she has fire and glacier. This is her slightly smaller micron, uh, more metallic-y kind of uh, holographic powder. And I'll be showing you on a few sample sticks here. I have, uh, in the interest of time, I've gone ahead and done all of the polishing and the top coating. So for the pink, I did the uh, Madame Glam, uh, baby pink. Uh, for the blue, it's uh, Le Chat Rock Candy. The black is black velvet, and the uh, orange is Alluring by uh, Artistic Color Gloss. All of these have been top coated with a no wipe top coat. Again, using the pigments I'm using here, it's best to use a no wipe top coat to get the best possible finish. You'll also need uh, a uh, stamper and I'll show you the reason why in just a moment. I'm also going to use a uh, sponge for the uh, application I have especially with the chromeleon pigments I do like to use a very dense but soft uh, makeup sponge I think that they apply better um, that way and uh, also, I'm going to try one design. I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but I'm going to try one design here with the uh, chrome, uh, Chromageddon, her silver chrome as well. Um, I'm also going to use her finger cot that she provides with her pigments. This is an excellent way of, of burnishing the pigments down onto that top coat, making sure that you get a nice adherence and a super smooth uh, finish, as metallic as you can possibly get using this. So there are our supplies, and we'll go ahead and get started with the demo. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, nail vinyls onto the nail, um, and then we'll get started with applying the pigment. So we'll be right back. All right, so I have my vinyl on my nail. I've made sure that it's stuck really nicely to the nail. We don't want any of that pigment going underneath the vinyl. And the first one I'm going to do, I've taken a little bit of the Chromageddon Silver Chrome, put it here in my cap. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to dip it in there. Just pick up a little bit. And then we're just going to rub it into that um, top coat. Get these out of the way here. We don't want the silver going on everything. So give that a good rub there on the uh, nail. Again, all of these have been top coated with the uh, top coated with the no wipe top coat. This will uh, give the best possible finish for your uh, these particular pigments. If you want to add some more, you can. I want a little bit of that color to come through. It's actually, when you do the silver over these kind of mustard yellow colors, you're going to get a gold uh, chrome look. So I'm hoping that's going to come through here. I'm going to put on my finger cod after I get all the uh, most of the chrome on there. We're going to smooth it, make sure that all of those particles lie flat. I'm also going to take off any excess uh, silver off of the uh, off of the decal, uh, the vinyl. When we take it off, we don't want any of that residual uh, pigment to kind of 
fly off and, and onto the nail uh, once uh, that vinyl is off. So once you give that a good um, kind of burnishing there with your finger cot, now we're ready to go ahead and take off the vinyl. Uh, take a particular care with this. Again, you don't you don't want any of that residual pigment to kind of fly off in the other areas of the nail where the where you want those spaces to be. So just be gentle taking off the vinyl. And as you can see, we have a gold uh, chrome appearance here. This is where your stamper is going to come in handy. This is a tip that I learned from uh, Angela. As you can see, there seem right around the uh, outline, you still have what look like a little bit of the particles. So take your stamper and you're just going to quickly roll it over that pigment and those little particles are now lifted. You get a nice crisp uh, edge on that and now you're ready to go ahead and top coat it. All right, our nail is out of the lamp. We have a nice gold chrome look with the uh, chromageddon pigment using the vinyls there. And we'll move on to our next one. For this one, we're gonna use our, let's see. We're gonna use our, I think our Phoenix pigment here. This is our chromeleon pigment, absolutely gorgeous, super pigmented, very soft, so they apply like butter, really. And uh, just as we did, I'm going to take another sponge because I don't want that silver chrome in with these. And just as we did with the other one, I'm going to make sure that your vinyl is completely stuck down. And then we're going to dip that into our chromeleon and then we're just going to again rub it onto the nail now while these look good over black they actually look their best over black um, putting these over different colors you'll see that uh, they do while maybe not quite as saturated of a color, you're still gonna get a beautiful tone from them. In this case, I'm getting a beautiful kind of coppery, uh, coppery color. So once you get that completely coated with your pigment, again, we're gonna come back in with our finger cot and we're going to burnish that down into the nail, removing any excess pigment as well. This one's going to be a little bit more subtle than our other orange one that we did. Sorry, out of frame. So once we get a good burnish on that, we'll take off, take off the vinyl. Be careful not to touch the nail as you're taking that off. Again, a gorgeous finish. And um, as you can see with that previous stamp how much of that pigment did come off on that uh, other one so uh, take a little bit of uh, alcohol just got some alcohol in my pump spray here and I'm gonna uh, spray the spray that we're gonna clean that now again the, the rolling with the stamper here the stamper also needs to be slightly tacky to help pick up the uh, the excess pigment and again the purpose of that is just to pick up a little bit of that extra pigment that was around the edges of the of the vinyl and just give it a more crisp um, uh, feel to it make sure that your stamper is completely dry if it's not you're going to get some hazing on your nail and you don't want that so again just a quick roll going to pick up any of the excess pigment nice sharp lines and again we're ready to go ahead and top coat that nail all right so here we have our nail out of the lamp 
Again, this is this will offer a very nice color shift with the uh, chromeleon uh, pigments with a nice metallic finish as well. We're now ready to move on to our next one. We've got a zebra stripe here. I'm going to use my ivy on this one since again uh, these look better over black. Just more intense, more rich looking. Um, but again, you can experiment and see how they look over different colors. But black will definitely get you your best possible finish. This is a beautiful green to purple shift for ivy. Make sure you get a nice coat over that nail. And I'll apologize ahead of time that I got a little bit of that chrome on the finish so that might come through on this particular one but I didn't have another sample so I put my finger caught on and again we're going to burnish that into the nail make sure we get any excess pigment off the nail so when we take that vinyl off we're not spreading it around all right take your vinyl off don't touch the nail and there you have now any of these over black uh, obviously are going to be a little bit more subtle but uh, I think that is a really cool uh, subtle color shift with those stripes on there it's really beautiful ivy is absolutely gorgeous and once again I'm using uh, both the uh, top coats that I really like are the uh, Luxa Shine. I'll use this one too, as well as my accents. You can use either one. It's whatever your personal preference is. I was uh, sent these as a sample, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the uh, these. Uh, they have a matte and a shiny, and both are very, very nice. The shiny, um, the Luxa brand is a tad bit thicker than uh, the Accents brand, uh, but in my opinion, no less uh, a good no wipe. So as you can see there, absolutely gorgeous color shift with that. When that hits the light, people are gonna be wanting to look at your nails to see what kind of design you have on there. We'll go ahead and uh, cure that and be right back. All right, there we have our zebra stripes out of the lamp again once again that's ivy from chromeleon brand from social claws of course i'll leave the link to all the products that i'm using down below all right we'll move on to our next one uh, this one's kind of a mosaic or, sh or shattered glass look for this one i'm going to use the um, holographic pigment Again, this is the Social Claws Prism Glacier. Glacier is the slightly smaller micron size, a little bit more silvery, metallic-y looking, um, uh, a little bit, uh, uh, just a tiny, tiny bit more muted on the uh, holographic effect uh, than fire is. Fire was just that. It was a very fiery uh, holographic, a little more... Um, you could uh, see a little bit more of the particle on that. Uh, this is smoother, a lot smoother. Uh, so once again, I'm using my makeup sponge and I'm just going to burnish that into the blue here. This one's gonna be a much more subtle effect uh, because we are doing this over blue. which is going to more closely match the metallic finish of this. So once you get a good coating again, no need to be heavy handed with it. Just make sure you get a good coat. Still a little bit of that blue will come through. Take our finger caught again. Burnish it. Move 
with the decal. Take our stamper, make sure that we get some nice sharp lines on that. And there we have a shattered glass effect using the holographic. So again, we're going to top coat. All right, there is our nail out of the lamp. I love the shattered glass effect that I've seen using the uh, kind of like mylar holographic um, films that you cut into little pieces like this. This makes this so much easier to do with the uh, nail vinyl and the um, holographic powder. All right, now we're ready to move on to our final one here. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go back to our silver. Again, just giving a nice coat over that. We'll get a nice kind of polarized glass effect. Get the autofocus on this so it doesn't keep going in and out of focus here. I always thought the chrome over the silver kind of made it look almost like, well even the holographic too would be more like a mother of pearl, giving it that nice shine. Again, we're just gonna smooth it. Take off the vinyl. Roll it to make sure we get a nice crisp outline around each one. And now we're ready to go ahead and top coat that. All right, so here's our pink nail out of the lamp. And again, that was using the Chromageddon from Social Claws. And here are the other nails in the demo. So you can see there's quite a few ways that you can use your pigments. Uh, if you have nail vinyls, this is a great way to uh, utilize them. And just to show you what I did here, I did the uh, black background with the holographic pigment, but instead of making sure the coat was nice and even, I actually kind of um, burnished it to where there was only a little bit left uh, in the center of uh, each piece, so it kind of gives it more of a outlined look, and I kind of like that. It's a bit different, but still kind of a cool effect, especially with that holographic uh, pigment. So uh, once again, uh, if you have uh, some holographic or chrome or uh, even the chromeleon, uh, the the um, metallic uh, multi-chromes. Uh, this is certainly an option that you can use. Uh, once again, leave links to all the products down at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope everybody has a great holiday, and I will see you guys later.